All right, I'm back, finally. Chat, I just love Spectrum Internet. How it constantly dis... Oh, I disconnected it again. Okay, nope, no, I'm back. Nice. Yep, I love Spectrum Internet. How it keeps disconnecting at random intervals every two hours. Just gotta keep expressing love, chat. Don't, don't accept the hate. That's how you fall to the dark side and all that. All right, yeah. Uh, run was kind of bad, so I'm also move on to the next thing. I've been stalling on doing this for a while because procrastination, but all right, let me get. Uh, it's time for the return of a classic. Chat. Let me. Also, I prepared a special video for this one. Uh, let me try to show it. All right, chat. It's time for another wonderful installment of... Wait, let me make sure I can hear this. It is time for another wonderful installment of... Dolomite Unboxing Segment. Where I unbox packages on stream. Yep, it's time for another wonderful segment of the Dolomit unboxing video. I hope you're able to hear that chat, by the way, since yeah, I was playing a video. Also, speaking of which, that video took me 10 minutes to make. 10 minutes. That was really cool. I'm glad you thought so. Again, imagine if I spent more than 10 minutes on it. Yeah. But yes, since it's been a long time, I have one, two, three, four, five, six packages. And chat, this one's better because I have a mystery package. Someone put in the wrong address for their Amazon delivery and instead arrived to my house. Since I don't know and or care to send it back, I have like a uh, one of those like, you know, mystery YouTube unboxings. Like, ooh, creepy. Sorry about that. Yeah, let's start off with the first one. This one comes in from Ohio. Warrensville, Hiltz, Ohio. Also, I think whatever is in that Amazon thing, Amazon thing is probably close, like a woman's thing, because there's there's a woman's name on it. So the mystery package is probably woman's clothing, which I will be throwing away. All right, first package is a oh, nice. It's a it's a Nintendo Wii stand thing. Yeah, I, I remember ordering this because I, I got kind of tired of laying my weed down flat on my on the ground. So I wanted to prop it up. So I bought, uh, the, you know, the Wii stand thing. So let me let me put it on, actually. Snug fit. It's like, it like snapped in perfectly and made the sound and everything. Nice. And that comes in from Ohio. You're going to wear a Nintendo Wii stand? No, I'm not going to wear it. I was going to put it on my Wii. Cause, like, so I can stand up my Wii console. I wear it. All right, next patch, uh, package comes in from Indiana. Mar Mar Marengo, Indiana. Yeah, it's a, it's a Wii console stand. That, that props your Wii up vertically instead of horizontally. No, it goes on the Wii. I feel like I'm speaking a second language, Chad. Are you understanding me properly? It's a Nintendo Wii stand that stands up the console. So it stands up. Yes, the Wii is propped up now. Am I? Are we speaking two different languages here? All right, second package is... Also, since it's been a long time, these packages have been sitting on my desk for about two weeks now, so I really don't know what's in, what's inside these packages. 
we're from we're from Indiana, there is another package. You gotta love a package within a package chat. The mystery continues. What's inside? Oh, nice. It's a Game Boy Color. Let's hope it's not the Wii stand. It definitely wouldn't be. No, but the next one is a Game Boy Color. I remember buying this because um, the uh, the Game Boy cartridge I had, the EverDrive, fits better for a Game Boy Color. I, I, I thought this is the one that plays all Game Boy games. It doesn't. It only plays Game Boy Original and Game Boy Color. So I decided to buy a console that the handout that fits with it. Check it. Just like that. I'll legit buy that off you right now. Dude, I bought this for myself so I can play my Game Boy games like on a, the original thing. Why would I buy this just to sell it back to you? <laughs> Doesn't make any sense. Like, I actually bought it so I can like use it. And then I'll buy it, buy it off wounded. Yeah, yeah, we'll just complete this cycle around. That came in from, what was it? Yeah, Indiana. All right, third package comes in from Arizona. Topak, Arizona. Or Tupac. How much you get for it? Um, I bought it off a random online store that I never heard of before. I can check. Uh, don't tell me you paid more than no, definitely not a hundred. No, I would never buy that much. My Game Boy Color was sixty-eight dollars. Yeah, I made. Sure, I, I'm always a bargain hunter. Always search for a good price. Sixty-eight dollars for that Game Boy. Okay, yeah. Next one comes in from Topak, Arizona. Yeah, I'm certainly no fool when it comes to prices. Yeah, that, that was a steal. A lot of the other prices were higher. I, I even uh, negotiated with a guy to lower it down even a bit more. I'm, I'm certainly no fool, chat. And inside is a bunch of bubble wrap. Oh, wait. Yeah, oh, that's the paper outside. The misery continues, chat. What's inside the bubble wrap? I'm getting so excited. It might be a ring. I don't know why I'd ever buy a ring. Oh, nice. It is a copy of... It's not the Zaza. This is a copy of Ed and Eddie Jawbreakers, the Game Boy Advance game. I think this is the this is the Ed and Eddie game I played when I was a youngin, when I first got my Game Boy Advance, and it was awesome. Can't really see it because the light again is terrible, but yeah, this is a copy of Ed and Eddie Jawbreakers. Very good game, and of course, chat, it's a classic, absolute classic. Ed, Ed, Ed and Eddie Zaza, that's definitely not a game. Oh, yeah, the classic show. That's a good one, too. I'll probably get that one as well. All right, next package package comes in from Flagstaff, Arizona. We got two Arizona packages. Nice. You're preaching to the choir. Yeah, we, we all know it's a good game. Oh, son of a bitch. It's crushed. Okay, well, next package is a complete inbox of Bionicle Maze of Shadows, but it's squished. I think either from handling or from it being on my desk underweight. But you can, I can easily repair these, <laughs> these uh, folds in. Yeah, this is my first ever complete inbox purchase of a game. I've never played a Bionicle game in my entire life, but screw it. 
it was complete it was a complete inbox and for a cheap price so you know yeah bionicle maze of shadows complete inbox nice all right next package comes in from san diego california disgusting Man, they taped this up good. They put so much tape on this, man. Okay, there we go. I love the movies it had. I'd never even seen the movies. I was definitely more of a Lego guy than a Bionicle guy. Right. In the box we have... Another package. Awesome. Let's see what's inside this package. It's a Wii U wireless controller. Okay, I do remember this order. I ordered a Wii wired classic controller, not a Wii U. I got ripped off. This is not what I ordered. I don't even play the Wii U. What the fuck? Okay. No, yeah, yeah a Wii U th controller won't work on a Wii. I ordered the, the Wii Pro Classic controller for the Wii that connects to the Wii Mote. Looks like this, but it's black and has a Wii symbol on it. This is not what I ordered. So, yeah. I now have this for some reason. It'll, it'll work on my Wii U, but I don't play my Wii U almost ever. Yeah, and it, wait, uh, where did this come from? San Diego, California. Of course, the one order that gets mixed mix, mixed up is from California, the worst fucking state in the union. And last package chat, sue him. I'm not gonna sue him. I, I can I can easily just buy an actual one that that matches the description of the product. It's not worth it. Also from the also the person is from California. That's punishment enough. All right, all right. And last package is the mystery package chat. Ooh. Do it. <laughs> I definitely want to. I don't definitely don't want to assume its pronouns. But yeah, last one is the mystery package chat. Ooh, uh, comes in from Hamburg, Pennsylvania. It's addressed to what looks like a woman's name, so it's probably like woman's clothes, and it feels like woman's clothes. So let's see what it is. Well, so I don't think Pennsylvania is that bad. I definitely hate California. Pennsylvania is like whatever. It's a burp fetish magazine. No, it's not. It is. Um, another package. It's a colorful, like hat or something. Oh yeah, it's a hat and gloves of a football team, the Steelers. I didn't even know this was a football team, but I guess they're based in Pennsylvania. Zelda is from Pennsylvania. It is now officially confirmed. Sure, man. Yeah, it's a Steelers hat and Steelers gloves. 
uh, the football team, I guess, from Pennsylvania. <laughs> yeah. Cool. I don't even watch football, but okay. Cool. Yeah, that's all the packages. Keep adding fields of the fire. I mean, I'm not from Pennsylvania. I don't even have a Pennsylvania accent. Is this stitched in? Or whatever. Actually, let me wear it since it is cold outside. So I guess it would help. Oh, do you know they have an accent? Well, if not an accent, at least a dialect. So that, that's how regions work. There's no way someone from California sounds the same as someone from Pennsylvania. You look spiffy. Thank you. Apparently, I'm a Steelers fan. Go Steelers football team. Ooh. Also, the gold in the Steelers matches the, uh, the gold in my bow tie. It's kind of nice. Ugh, you're a Steelers fan? I'm not really. I have no idea what the Steelers are even... Are, are even. This is just someone's package. Oh, wait. Ultra game. Problem? Our customer service team is on standby to resolve all issues. Unhappy? We apologize for any convenience. We won't rest until you are 100% satisfied. Please contact our customer support team. I'm kind of satisfied. Oh, it's a free hill. Oh, they're a football team. Okay. I mean, I, I don't watch football, but... Sure, whatever. I guess I'm a Steelers fan. I feel like you're going to offend one of your viewers by wearing that. Yeah, I, f football is a weird thing where like it's it's really polarized. Like people are diehard team members for whatever team they want. I don't care about football. I don't watch football. I mean, I'm just wearing this because it's snug. It feels spiffy. I got it in the mail because someone else put their uh, address wrong. Yeah, I don't care to understand the rivalries and like the histories of the teams or whatever. But I'll take it off so I don't offend anyone. But yeah, Steelers, cool. Oh yeah, yeah, I'll get your spin. I was just admiring my Steelers uh hat. Because I'm such a giant Steelers football team fan. Alright. Well, actually, wait, let me close it off. And that chat is another rounding. Awesome uh, episode of the ultimate unboxing segment where I unbox packages on stream. Hope you enjoyed the another lovely episode of the Dogmed unboxing stream. <laughs> All right, yeah, let me get to your uh, wheel spin for you. What's up with Rosalina there? Nothing. She just she's just wearing a uh, uh, a bra. All right, let me uh, bring up the wheel. Ba -ba -ba. All right, shuffle it. Let's see what you get, free help. Ah, oh, damn it. Do a 10 pencil sharpening speed run. Ah, oh, man. Damn it. I was hoping to never actually touch that game ever again, but all right. Um, I clipped all the dancing yesterday. Oh yeah, I forgot to look at that clip, but I wonder if I can make that into an emote. If I get more uh, emote slots, I'll add that dancing Dalda emote as a GIF. Actually, I can, I can add it as a third party emote. Yeah, I'll just do that. I'll add it as a third party emote. Ah, dude, I haven't touched pencil sharpening, that pencil sharpening game in years. All right. Um, actually, I can't really, I only have one monitor for my computer. 
So if I play it, it ought to be minimized so I can read chat. Oh, by the way, um, Wounded, can you send me the dancing dollar clip so I can uh, make it into an emote? I definitely still have the pencil sharpening game. I wouldn't delete it. Pencil sharpening simulator. Uh, it has been a, been a long time. It's been a long time since I played this game, but since you won it on the... On the wheel free hoe, I guess I'll do it. I think it's been three years since I played this game. It's a game where you sharpen pencils. That's really it. It's a pencil sharpening speed run or a game. Where is it? Ah, oh, here it is. I'm going to pin that so I don't uh, forget it. It's it's really a, that's it's just a game where you sharpen pencils. I just pinned the clip so I, I wouldn't forget it. Where's the game? There it is. All right, let me uh bring it up. Ah, oh, here it is. Uh, let me get my splits. Now, oh, open up two games. Pencil sharpening simulator. Simulator drill. Ten pencils. Yeah, I didn't want to stand up. That would have been like too much. All right, here we go. I did dance. I moved my hands and whatnot. All right, sharpen 10 pencils. Uh, I forgot how to play this game. I believe I start on play. How do people on wheelchairs dance then? They move their arms. Wait. Ah, shite. There's like a skip, to, like you can skip trying to uh, put the pencil in the thing. It's like C, and then... Eh, whatever. I'm... It, again, it's been forever since I've speedrun this game. Actually, let me change the color. I didn't mean to do that. Oh, fuck. R is reset. Oh, no, it's not. It's... Oh, no, okay. R... I use R to do the skip. All right, never mind. Overwhelming gameplay. Uh, I bet it is. I used to... Uh, no, no shit, Chad. I speedrun this game. For like 50 hours three years ago. Yeah, there. Yeah, that's that's the skip. In order to skip, trying to manually put the pencil in the sharpener, you press R, 
and then click play again and then it automatically puts the pencil in the sharpener. I used to play this IRL, been speedrunning my whole life. Good times. You know, you get bonus drill time if you put it in like fast. Got it again, baby. I missed it, whatever. This is truly the game chat, you just speed run pencils. I did this for 53 hours three years ago. Truly the best game ever made. Best 10k ever spent? Uh, I hope so, man. Yeah, it, of course it's right because I messed up the first two pencils. I had to get reacclimated to the uh, controls. And also had to do the quick pencil insert skip. Respect your roots. I mean, I do like this game and fond memories from my 50 hour speedrun. I believe that's 10, 10 pencils, four minutes and 56 seconds. Nice. Still better than your other cursed game. No, a is definitely better than pencil sharpening speed run, uh, simulator only by a little bit though. All right. Nice. Oh, wait, I wish I didn't, ah, crap. I wish I didn't open it. 2020. Yeah, a little bit more than two years ago and some change last time I speed ran that game. Nice. All right, wonderful. Yeah, I hope you enjoyed the pencil sharpening speed run. All right. Yeah, that'll be it for today. I Better, better I try to ease back into doing longer streams because then I'll crash, burn, and then give up again. But yeah, thank you all for watching. And if you can do me a huge favor, chat. Yeah, uh, please subscribe to all my social media. Subscribe to my YouTube. Subscribe to my email. Subscribe to my OnlyFans, please. I'm trying to grab, you know, grow all my <clears throat> platform. So if you can do that, that would be awesome. I finally finished my homework. Nice, I just finished stream. And no one's life son of a bitch i have the world record for pencil sharpening irl very impressive corrupted yeah i'm trying to grab you know you know grow my platform so please subscribe to my reddit you know my facebook subscribe to my uh my ebay account raid i'll raid that guy since his name is easier to type All right, I'll be back tomorrow. Have a great rest of your mornings, afternoons, and evenings. Oh, wait a minute. Um, thank you, Seikat Sushi, for the sub. And thank you, Girth, for the two bits. And that's that.